Hello everyone and welcome back uh, to my channel. So today we will be unboxing, um, or sorry, not unboxing, but I've already removed the plastic. So we're going to do a flip through and a first impression and review of the Synchronicity Oracle. So um, I haven't flipped through the cards yet, so um, I am very I'm, I'm actually very excited to use this one and also um, curious as to how this is going to work because um, it's the first time that I actually saw well it's not the first time I've already had cards um, crystal cards with, with hexagon shaped um, cards so this is going to be my second card with that shape and then um, alright so let's see here it's published by Watkins um, Publishing, and this one is by um, Ethan Ilfold. So, it says here at the back, the Synchronicity Oracle will enrich your life with meaning, wisdom, and awareness. Inspired by Carl Jung's concept of synchronicity, this groundbreaking tool for self-discovery is based around 57 deeply resonant visual symbols from the yin yang and kabbalah tree of life to the mirror the the hourglass and the dream catcher find the matching symbols in that synchronicity bring your unconscious insights and wisdom to the surface as you search for the unique synchronicity between any two cards and enjoy the magic of finding finding it through this deck you will find the synchronicity comes up more and more in your everyday life Stimulate direct dialogue with your unconscious mind and help unleash your creative potential. So, this is about um, the author and oh, most hexagons are here. Alright, so let's see. So, nothing inside the box. It's just plain white. So, this is the guidebook. And these are the cards. We're gonna um, let me just remove the binding first. All right, and let me just close this one. I'm gonna put the cards right here, and we will go. All right. So, here's the guidebook, and tile page, so at the back, I think it's just the same, and it's published, no, copyrighted 2021, so this one, it's just released this year, I'm not sure which month though, but I think it's just a new release deck. And then um, now we have the table of contents. So you have here the symbols with a tiny image, the thumbnail of it, the images of the symbols. And then we have here the introduction. Um, so I've read quite a bit of it. So this one just mentioned about um, Carl Jung, um, how he defines synchronicity. And then we also have in here about the deck itself that it has 57 symbols 57 symbols in 57 cards sorry yeah within the 57 cards and then there are eight uh i think it's eight if i'm not mistaken there are eight symbols scattered um each symbol rather is scattered eight times within the deck so Uh, let's see about the deck. Why well, was already mentioned at the back anyway? Um, and then we have here as well. well. Like you can use the cards. Sorry, you can use the cards. Um, you know, finding the common symbol and using it as a um, what do you call this? As a 
as a guidance maybe for you for you know for 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 your current situation your past and how um you're gonna move forward and then it says here the language of symbols and archetypes before commencing a reading we have here getting started so we have here the simple single question where you have one question but you're gonna have to pick two cards and find the common symbol and then we have here the classic spread which we're gonna have to do later on at the end of the towards the end of the video after the flip through we're gonna try it out and then another alternative here sample spreads um, sample readings rather and then we have in here as well an alternative layout so these are the questions um and then best practice after reading and then we have here the symbols um and then there are meetings so you have here each of them a um the the symbol itself and then the what it is what the symbol is and we have your keywords symbolism we have in here reflection and meditation okay so that goes on up until the last one and then here at the back we have a quick guide reference so <laughs> this is this is really actually um, creative like there is nothing on it we're gonna have to see if that one is somewhere in there we can see it but okay so quick right reference and that's it that's about it for the guidebook now let's flip through the cards quickly and see what the symbols we have here so you have the eye of horse the pie symbol alien we have lovers here right here clown the king the king the king in chess and the pentagram so the back by the way um it's just this triangle symbols right there blue black and white and they are glossy somewhat yeah silk or uv gloss i think i forgot what it's called but yeah they are somewhat glossy cards they are really <laughs> glossy okay they're sliding each um they're sliding at each other so pretty much glossy cards so we have in here um the first one and there we go I'm just gonna have to take a look at them so not everything is the same we have the wings the clown is right there buddha and the moon the sun waves mirror Yin Yang, the Hourglass, Dream Catcher Crystal. We have key and then all right it's Buddha so we have tarot cards right there <laughs> I'm not sure what it means we'll see We'll check the guidebook later on after we try to do a reading. 
I just wanted to take a look at the symbols right here. So we have like a Dini hourglass mirror glasses, eyeglasses. And what is this? Is this like a cosmic hen or something? I don't know. Um, we'll see. Okay. I'm not familiar with the cards. You have a centaur, candle, arrow. Then hands. We have a dog as well. The lion. Spider web. Lotus. You have an ace card, an ink, a juggler. Is that a juggler? <laughs> we have a lucky card. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna go through the symbols later on though, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> Oops. We have an infinity symbol. Looks like a snake, shaking hands, anchor. And I'm really excited to check out or to try out the classic spread. We have an ink right there, an apple. So most of them are the same, and they are actually like spread out 8 times, I think. I wonder what the Martian head is all about. Maybe weirdness, I don't know. Being unique. Who knows. Is that like a volcanic eruption or something? Hmm, okay. It's kind of like a little bit confusing if you're not familiar with it because you don't know if two cards has the same symbols, right? So, anyway, alright, so we are going to try out and see how we're going to shuffle the cards. Um, I'm just going to do an overhand shuffling because obviously I don't think I can shuffle it um, like this. But let's try to do a ritual shuffle if we can. Well, not bad. Well, this is actually a great, um, it's a fun thing to do because you don't know what's, what symbols are going to show up coincidentally, you know, like, do you guys believe in coincidence or not? So, oh yeah, I can totally shuffle it that way. Not bad. Here, one more time. <laughs> really not bad. And then let's try a riffle shuffle as well. I'm sorry, um, an overhand shuffling. It's kind of hard to do an overhand shuffling for this one because... Okay. 
they're not the same. Alright, so we're going to use, okay, we'll try to do just, um, just one to, to sample off a single question though. Or, okay, let's see what your guide is. Um, for today, we're going to have to use two cards. Um, so this is like the single question. We're going to have to find the common symbol here. So based from what I see here, we only have one common symbol and that is the, um, what's this? I don't know what that is, but let's try to see from the guidebook what it means. And, okay. Alright, let me just find the symbol. Oh, okay, so that is actually skeletons. And let's try to find what it means. Okay, so here we go. So skeletons, um, they are... Oh, sorry. Okay, so skeletons, it's about... Keywords is mortality, time, aging, truth, and structure. So, as these two skeletons sit back to back in a mirror image, they represent the ephemeral nature of life. All things come and go. It's the process of aging that helps remind us how precious our lives are and that we won't be here forever. A skeleton is the frame that holds us together and also represents a hidden truth beneath the skin. The skull has often symbolized melancholy and in Shakespeare's Hamlet. Hamlet himself holds the skull of an old friend and, and laments. Alas, poor York, I knew him, a fellow of infinite test, as he realizes the inevit inevitability of death. We cannot achieve immortality and all things pass eventually. So that's a symbolism. And then the reflection is, life and good health should never be taken for granted. Many of us have a bucket list of things we'd love to experience. Places we'd like to visit and goals we aim to reach. Are you making the most of your life? Are there certain things you'd like to achieve? What is holding you back? And then for the meditation, imagine yourself as an eight-year-old child again. Um, talking to your current self, your inner child tells you that they love you and also reminds you of some of your deeply held dreams and ambitions. Vow to pursue them with a renewed sense of purpose and give your inner child a loving hug. Um, so, if you want to use this one as a reflection, as a meditation, it's more of like trying to um, looking through your life, you know, what you've achieved so far, and what are the things that. Um, okay, so this one, the symbols, this the skeleton symbol, from what I can see here, it's kind of like um, you trying to realize what you have achieved so far, and what are the childhood dreams that you've been thinking before when you were small or when you're just a child, and then you wanted to like um, you wanted to get it or you wanted it to happen when you become when you when you were thinking if you were going to grow old and then this is what you were going to do. So it's more of like um, the skeleton is kind of like looking um, looking through your achievements so far. Um, not just your achievements but what are the things that you still want to you, you still want to achieve? What are the things that are still missing in your life? Kind of like um, doing a self-realization in a way and also um, it's like finding the truth about your life about um, uh, finding the truth about um, where you have been so far or what you've what you've um, what you have achieved so far. So it's kind of like, is there something else missing? Is, is everything already perfect in your life? Or are there still things that you needed to do, that, that you need to do, that you need to finish, or that you need to, to look for? You know, those things. Are you still searching for something else? And um, that is how I'm going to have to like, look or, you know, um, define the skeleton here, according to, of course, the book as well. And then, um, also like for reflection, it says in here, 
you know you shouldn't take your life for granted so it's more like um, you have to be grateful of what you have right now and that's something that you have you know no matter um, no matter how far you have achieved right now you have to be grateful of everything that has happened to your life because they 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 were meant for you those things were meant to happen um, either to make you strong to make you um, smart to make you uh, I don't know to make you learn something and that is what's important so we can try to do that one as a sing um, you know a single question for that's one way and how to do it another way is um, to see as well okay we're gonna have to put this one here on top I'm not sure if you can see it but I'm gonna have to just put it right there okay and then we're gonna pick another two cards so that we can use a single spread Oops. <laughs> it's locked. okay we're gonna have to pick another two cards right we are going to pick two more cards and this is going to be um, so we're gonna set this one as an example for the past uh, what was your previous what was your previous energy in the past and then you're going to like pick you know um, two more cards which is about your current situation okay we're gonna have to just pick any card randomly all right so here we're going to see um, let's see the cards. Okay, so we have the common symbol here for your current situation. Um, let's try to find it here. Okay, so we have a satyr right there and a uh, pan, pan satyr. And the meaning is could be magical. I don't know. Let's see. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Alright, the pan, a cedar, is a mischief, spontaneity, fertility, spring, and panic. So, in ancient Greek mythology, Pan was the god of the wilderness, improvised music, shepherds, and nymphs, a trickster by nature. Pan is known for its great strength and is often associated with sex, fertility, and the spring. The word panic comes from his name because the Greeks believed that when Pan was accidentally woken while napping in a field, he would shout and cause the flocks to stampede, creating a sense of sudden fear, a panic. So for reflection, have you allowed yourself to act spontaneously recently? How about playing a prank on someone or setting up a date in the near future to do something creative that challenges your boundaries and inhibitions? For meditation, when no one is around, break into a spontaneous song. Make up your own lyrics and, and release all the pent-up energy inside you. Be silly and authentic. So, alright, um... Now, from what I can actually um, define, rather, or um, interpret, rather, the satyr right here, or the pan right here, it's more of like telling you to have fun, um, to be, yeah, to have fun, to enjoy your current situation, um, or maybe as well, you're being laid back, um, in a way. Or you're probably just kind of like playing around because this one, um, your where you're coming from in the past, the past energy is about um, looking for the truth, um, looking at your life, looking where you've been so far, and being grateful for what you've already achieved so far as well. And then here you have here the pan, which is more like um, being. Uh, being um, having fun and um, well maybe because of the re realization that you've already had um, with your with your life it can also cause you some panic um, it could also cause panic in you where um, you know maybe um, you're running out of time you think you're running out of time and because of like as well the current situation right now where you know we're in this this whole pandemic thing maybe um it's, it's giving you a i don't know a 
uh, a panic in a panic situation where you're thinking like your your time is running short there are things you still need to do or still need to finish you know stuff like that so we're gonna have to like pick two more cards for what's coming ahead or in the future and what's common here is the pentagram all right so we're gonna have to take a look at the guidebook what it means all right now we're gonna have to see where we're heading and sure enough this is where's the table of contents all right okay so we have the pentagram and it means Right, there we go. Pentagram is about health elements, occult awareness, good versus evil. So the pentagram is a five-pointed star and an ancient symbol used in Sumerian scripts. And later by the secretive Pythagoreans as a symbol for health. In Christianity, it has been used to refer to the five wounds of Jesus or to our five senses. It is also used as a symbol for the Baha'i and Drew's fates. In tradition, Chinese... In traditional Chinese medicine, the pentagram symbolizes the five elements of fire, earth, metal, wood, and water. Occultists have linked the pentagram to the King Solomon. It is popular among modern Wiccans and pagans and some interpret its orientation as either good, single point upward, or evil, two points upward, like the horns of a goat. The Freemasons and the Thelemites have also incorporated the pentagram into their symbolism. And then, as a reflection, most of us tend to believe that we are good people, but um, what, is that, what, is, what does this really mean? Are you true to yourself? What energy does your life force give out to the world around you? And then, uh, meditation, imagine yourself drawing a pentagram with a piece of chalk on the middle of a path. You circumscribe the pentagram in... A circle. The next day you return to find the rain had smudged the pentagram and there is only a small trace of it left. You become aware that even when the pentagram disappears, you still have a memory of it and its energetic residue will always remain. Okay, so um, for me, all right, so this one is coming like me becoming more aware. Um, so what, where you're heading is, um, okay, so from, from how I'm going to like interpret this one, the first, the, the past, um, we have been like, we have been talking about, um, like from the past we've been talking about, uh, the skeletons, right? So the skeletons is more likely, um, most definitely, of course, it's about, um, you know, realizing, re realizing rather, um, where you have come so far, and then um, now you're in a panic. Maybe in a panic, like um, you probably think like your time is short, short now, and there are still many things that you need to do, or still a lot of things that you need to take care of and stuff like that. And then we have here the pentagram um, where you're heading, where you're becoming more aware of the. The most important things um, that you need to keep, you need to take care of. Um, it's kind of like realizing that um, you already know how to balance things. You already know you can already differentiate um, what is important versus the things that you don't need anymore, and. Um, it's kind of like because you've, because of um, how you have been looking at your life, you're now becoming more aware of what's what 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 needs to be done, what needs to be finished, or what needs to do, what needs to be yeah, what needs to be done right now. So that is how you're gonna have to like pick your past, present, and future, or yeah. And then what we're gonna have to do next is we're gonna have to. Um, Okay, so we're gonna have to pretty much, uh, I think it's like this. Yeah, we can do it like that. Oh, sorry. One, two. Um, three. Four. 
since let's try to move this one right here. Six and seven. Okay, there you go. All right, so we can use that. This is the classic spread, okay? So now we have here the first one. Let me try to move them, okay? All right, so now we have in here, uh, I don't know if I can still try to move it, but let's see, okay. So we're gonna have to take a look. We're gonna have to like pick the um, intuitive or um, intuition symbol, I think that's how it's called. I'm gonna have to like pick any card right now. Alright, I'm just gonna pick one card and we're gonna have to use this one as our intuitive or yeah, intuitive symbol. So this one you can use it something that you can reflect on. So we're gonna have to like open this one and choose um look at what what would be the common symbol for each um yeah, for each set. So on the first set, we have here the the common symbol is the uh, what is this? The anchor. And then here, the the common symbol is hmm the lovers. Then here we have on this third set. We have, let me just, oh, okay, I'm gonna use like the chopstick right here. Okay, so here, um, the common symbol is um, the moon. Here, the common symbol is the anchor or the wheel. Is that what it's called? And here, we have the lovers again and here we have on this set the common symbol is I can see it uh oh come on oh the dream catcher all right so the common um symbol that we have is this or the dominant brother so it appeared twice on the second set and on the fifth set so we're going to have to use this one as the um, intuitive symbol. If you get like two, for example, um, so this one appeared twice, right? And then let's say, for example, the set, the C tier is, the C tier is right here as well, which is going to be, oh, it's going to have to appear twice. But if a symbol like appears twice, you can use them both symbols but if nothing none of there are no dominant symbols you can use all six that's common and use them all together as your intuitive symbol so on this case we have the lovers i think uh the lovers kiss i'm sorry it's a lovers kiss symbol and let's see what it means all right so it says in here it's romance opposites attract love safety stagnation so the lovers kiss symbolizes the balance of the feminine the masculine much like the yin yang the energy droplets that are dancing below the lovers kiss highlight the constant flow from the positive to the negative in a never-ending um, cycle of creation blue intertwines with pink and red while the lovers are at ease and the world is in a state of harmony love okay so for reflection love and relationships are one of the most essential aspects in our lives for some of us they are more fulfilling than for others but we can often improve any relationship if we have prepared to try think about a significant relationship in your life at this time if you don't have a partner it can be with an important friend or a close family member how would you like to change the dynamics of this relationship what can you do to strengthen your relationship with this person and how can you promote harmony and then for meditation, recall an occasion when you experienced a negative emotion in your relationship. This doesn't need to be anything significant. 
For example, it could be a time when someone turned up late or made an insensitive remark. Notice the diverse change, I'm sorry, diverse range of emotions you experience in how your body feels as you remember the incident. Now relax your shoulders and your jaws, let the tension go, and take a deep breath and inhale into your abdomen. As you exhale, imagine that you are releasing any adverse feelings. Draw your awareness to your ears and gradually move down to your toes. You have now banished the negativity and grounded yourself. Okay, so looking at it, um, like this is your um, intuitive symbol, right? So out of everything that we encountered a while ago so it kind of like um you know you realizing where you have been so far in your life and then um you're still either you're still having fun or you're now um in a panic that time is running out for you and there are still a lot of things that you need to do with your life and then here we have in here something that you're already realizing you're even becoming more aware of um you're already becoming more aware of what's important in your life or what's still missing in your life and that's where you're heading towards you're trying to look for um you're already trying to look for what do you call this um to look for a way to achieve what else is missing in your life and also, you probably are already, you already know, rather, um, you're realizing what's important already in your life. It could be your family, and that, that this comes already, the, the common or the dominant symbol, which is the lover's kiss, where it could be a relationship. You probably already are realizing that the most important thing right now could be a relationship that you have, either with, 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 um, with a lover, with, um, husband, wife, or probably even um, parents, and you could be a family relative, you know, that you have, or a friend, a relationship, that's what's important with you, right, that, that's what's important right now in your life, like, you need to take care of, and I think, um, you know, this relationship is what's either missing in your life, or you need to fix it, or maybe um, you're still trying to look for it, you know, um, a deep connection rather it's um, a deep relationship with someone. So, um, it's more like you probably also, your life is kind of like stagnant right now, but you need to move forward to something else or you need to move forward or look for something that could either make you um, happy or contented now. So I think that's what this whole reading of the card spread, that's actually how I'm going to have to interpret this one, you know. Um, find the most important thing right now, which is maybe you're going to have to look for... Um, you need to probably fix a relationship or you need probably need to... Um, take care of a current relationship that you have. Alright, well, this is not bad at all. I actually had fun. <laughs> I had fun um, actually doing this one. So that's how you're going to have to do the past expert, guys. And, and then if you don't want to go through all of that, you can always use just a simple um, one question reading, but you're going to have to pick two cards to find a common symbol. Alright, so that's how the Synchronicity Oracle works. Um, that's how you're going to have to do it. And, well, how about you guys? Um, do you think this is going to work out for you? Um, is this something that you would like to have within your collections? Is this something that you would like to use as well as readings with your clients, with your friends, with your family relatives, or with yeah with with your clients um i can say this one really helpful because these cards you don't know exactly what they mean um you don't know what's gonna come up from a person who's gonna pick on on the cards you know it's it's surprising in a way for you to be able to realize what energy they have 
in the past, what's currently going on with them and what and where they're heading towards and then um you know trying to see how they're gonna have or how they're gonna need to meditate and reflect on their current situation so this is a very helpful um oracle i think because you don't know what's gonna happen or what's happening um around the person unless you know you're gonna have to use a classic spread so this is a fun deck it's something that i'm looking forward to use quite a few times for myself because i don't know what's gonna happen next or what um what i'm going to like what which cards which symbol is going to appear for me so that is something this is something that i'm really looking forward to use often um in the next few days weeks and months who knows but this is really something else so i had fun like doing the sample spread or sample reading for the classic spread and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did um what are your comments what are your thoughts about this deck let me know if you guys would like to have this deck or not or um what, yeah what for, for me what, what i really like about this is that you don't know um it's more like coincidence that you don't know what's um what do you call this uh you don't know what's coming next you know you're not aware of what's going to happen next in your life you're not aware of what are the things that are being synchronized in your life right now so this card is definitely something that could help you out so this is it guys the synchronicity oracle i hope you enjoyed this video and um don't forget to like and subscribe also to hit that bell button for you to be able to know or to get notified if in case i'm going to upload new videos all right thank you guys again for watching until my next video bye